If something important happens, a common way of notifying the user is using an alert, a pop-up window that contains a title, message, and one or two buttons depending on what you need. But think about it. When should an alert be shown, and how? Views are a function of our program state, and alerts aren't an exception to that. So rather than saying, show the alert, we instead create our alert and set the conditions under which it should be shown. A basic SwiftUI alert has a title, message, and one dismiss button, like this. Alert, title, text, hello SwiftUI. Message, text, this is some detail message. Dismiss button, dot default, text, OK. You can add more code to configure the buttons in more detail if you want, but that's enough for now. More interesting is how we present the alert. We don't assign the alert to a variable, then write something like myalert.show, because that would take us back to the old series of events way of thinking. Instead, we create some state that tracks whether our alert is showing, like this. At state, private var, showing alert, equals false. We then attach our alert somewhere to our user interface, telling it to use that state to determine whether the alert is showing or not. SwiftUI will then watch showing alert, and as soon as it becomes true, it will show the alert. Putting that all together, here's some example code that shows an alert when a button's tapped. At state, private var showing alert equals false. Button, show alert. Self dot showing alert equals true. Dot alert is presented, dollar showing alert. Alert, title, text, hello Swift UI. Message, text, this is some detail message. Dismiss button, dot default, text, OK. That attaches the alert to the button, but honestly, it doesn't matter where the alert modifier is used. All we're doing is saying an alert exists somewhere and is shown when showing alert is true. Now take a close look at the alert modifier. Dot alert is presented dollar showing alert. That's another two-way data binding, and it's here because Swift UI will automatically set showing alert back to false when the alert's dismissed. This is the final part of the overview for this project, so it's almost time to start the real code. If you want to save the examples you programmed, you should copy your project directory somewhere else. When you're ready, put contentview.swift back to the way it started when you first made the project, so we can have a clean slate to work from.